So as a coach, I tend to work with people who are very similar to me. And something that I have been doing my whole life and am learning, unlearning how to do is using truth as a weapon against myself. As a high achieving person, and I think this is true often in high achievers, you also tend to have a high level of integrity. So meaning if you're showing up in the world in a way that's different than how you want to show up in the world, it really bothers you. But you're often also very honest about that with yourself. Like I'm screwing up. You're quick to take responsibility for what's not working. And that can be possibly the most powerful tool to get you where you want to be and help you create what you want to create, no matter what that is. Because if you're willing to take responsibility for what you create in the world, everything in your world is of your own creation, then you're much more likely to create what you want overall. But the distinction comes in to whether you're using that same truth and integrity as a weapon against yourself or a tool to create. And if you're using truth as a weapon against yourself, you're beating yourself up. You're not going to get far because you're too busy recovering from the wounds, your emotional wounds you're inflicting on yourself every time you tell yourself the truth. I was talking to one of my clients this past week who was sharing actually a couple of them were talking about that they're not where they want to be. They're, they're struggling to create, bring their visions into the world. And they're quick to own that I used to be this and I was so good at this and now I'm not pulling my weight and I'm not doing what I say I'll do and I'm not following through and I'm, you know, barely making ends meet. And they're, they're just, they're so intricately aware of all the things that aren't working. But the come from is the beating themselves up over it, using that truth as a weapon against themselves to cast a light and shine a light on all the ways that they're falling short in bringing what they want to bring to world to world because they know that they're capable of more. And so this truth is like a big spotlight right now on them to be able to look at all the ways you're screwing it up. And honestly, even the language itself doesn't need to change. You can still say, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you, you, you said you were going to shoot these videos while you were in Florida, and yet now you're just sitting on the couch drinking a mimosa. What's wrong with you? And, yeah, true story that was <laughs> happening just yesterday. Um, but if I look at that same truth, and instead of using it as a weapon against myself, I use it as that same spotlight with the same language as a tool to create, I can, I can shine that truth on myself and say, Vanessa, what the fuck? Like, you knew you were going to be away. You know that one of the things that you want to do is create in different contexts. Why are you sitting here drinking a mimosa when you could be sitting down by that dock shooting a video? It's like the same exact language. It's what the fuck is wrong with you? Don't you want to create? But... It, but it comes less from judgment and more shining a light on an opportunity. Here's that opportunity, that thing you wanted to do, and now I'm using it as a tool to create. So check in sort of where you are on this one. And sometimes we do both. You know, we say, I need to be brutal with myself because when I'm brutally honest with myself, I, I can't hide from where I'm falling short because the only reason I have what I want is because I'm not taking action and following through on it. Same language, different come from. So are you using your truth as a tool to create what you want in the world by being honest with yourself that you're out of integrity and then using that awareness to get back into integrity? Or are you using it a weapon against yourself to cast the light on all the ways that you're falling short? The difference is allowing yourself to be judged by yourself when you catch yourself out of integrity. If when you catch yourself out of integrity, you just step back and go, okay, here I am again, no judgment, just take the judgment out, curiosity, and in place of that judgment, use a little curiosity to get into action. What's one thing I could do right now? You don't have to solve it, you don't have to correct it forever, just right now. Use that tool for, that truth as a tool for creation. And if you go back to my, the answer to how is yes, if you're seeing this one before that one, watch these two videos in, con in conjunction because they build off of each other. All right, so comment below. I'd love to co-create this experience for you. What are you, where are you using your truth as a weapon against yourself, beating yourself up and judging yourself instead of using it as a tool to create? Where is that happening in your life? What's that one place that's in your mind right now that you're experiencing your truth as a weapon against yourself? And how are you going to shift it as a tool to create? If you like this video, comment below, share with me your insights, share it with a friend, everybody else's a lot of people are also doing this as well. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. Bye.